Hey everyone, final day of Rocky Mountain Race Week. We're gonna go to the track, battle it out, see who can get first between April and I. Uh, we're like probably 10th or 12th in the class, so that's not important, but we made it. The car's done great, but we are gonna make a quick, uh, what do you call it, checkpoint from the event. We're gonna make up our own today and go by the Street Rod Nationals. The uh, National Street Rodding Association has their annual event here in Pueblo this weekend. Uh, it just happens to stack on top of this and the airstrip attack, which we'll be going to tomorrow. So we're gonna run Clyde by the uh, Street Rod Show since he's old enough to go in. Uh, he said he wanted to go by there and hang out with all the uh, other old cars, so we're gonna do that. And then we'll head out to the track. So we got a couple hours to burn because the event's not until later today. Uh, so yep, that's what we're gonna do. Just keep putting some more miles on him. Okay, so we just pulled in to, uh, we gotta go into this hotel here to get Clyde registered. Because you can't get into that event unless you have your registration. So we're gonna register Clyde here. Uh, and then we ran in some race speakers that are working on their cars here in the parking lot. All right, everyone, so we swung by, got registered, got our sweet little pins for the uh, street rod show. Got to turn the corner and we're uh, almost there. So that's what we figured, what a better way to finish out the event than to swing by the street rod show, which is another reason why I kind of built Clyde is, uh, there's some events that are 72 and prior and it just so happens to work that Clyde's a 72. So uh, like the street rod show is like 80 something. Uh, and then there's some old school shows that you gotta be like early 70s cars. So. Uh, Clyde fits all these types of events, so we figured we'd add a checkpoint on the Rocky Mountain Race Week of our own, swing through here, go to the Street Rod Show, and then end up back at the track and finish it out. Car show crews tune in it. Uh, the car's only, I only had it set up to pull off one fan, so I'm gonna activate the other fan, so since you're cruising through here real slow, and it's like 80 or 90 out, then it will help cool the car a little better. It only got to like 201, 202, but after driving all week at 150, 160, you figure you might as well use both fans. Oh look, the show car Buick made it. So, do a little uh, car show today and then hopefully go 200 tomorrow. Or at least hope. All right guys, so Clyde made it to the National Street Rod Association show here in Pueblo. We're gonna hang out here for a little bit and then head to the track and finish this event off. left the street rod show and now we have our street rod tag in the car got our numbers from race week and uh can't wait to add just a whole bunch more i guess things under clyde's belt here we got a couple passes to make turn in slips finish out this event and then tomorrow we'll be headed to the airstrip attack so make sure if you guys have not yet hit that subscribe button because we're going to be bringing you some half mile stuff of the buick uh, in the next couple videos as well but let's get to the track. We're gonna unload, switch wheels and tires for one last time here, and uh, yeah, send it and finish this deal out. Send it. <laughs> Clyde has officially completed Rocky Mountain Race Week, 1,300 miles approximately. We're back here at Pueblo, so we're gonna get the car unloaded, get everything switched over, and get ready to make a few more hits tonight. Everything seems good with the car, so finish it out. <laughs> Clyde's ready to make his first pass after driving 1,300 miles the last week.
you what I got there, and then April's gonna have to make some passes to see if she can beat me. <laughs> here we go, April's gonna try to make another hit. See if she can go better than my 1311 here. Car definitely picked up, went better than uh, it has at the beginning of the week from here. Probably some of the learning, I did a little tuning in Denver. But uh, track's looking good. Had a heck of a windstorm come through, unfortunately, so that uh, kind of delayed us. There you go. Good job. So just kind of follow what I do. All right, roll in one more. If he goes, let him go. Okay, all the way on the brake. Just a little bit of gas, just a touch. A little more. Go. sad about it <laughs> my uh my pass in julesburg and then my 1311 here she made an extra pass tried to do better but that's racing so i'm sure that's not the end of us competing with this car though um uh, we're gonna start i'll be doing a tune on it she'll be driving it some more see how much faster we can get it hopefully we can get it go 1290s here in our local track and then we'll go from there so what do you think about the week um, I had a great time. It was really fun. I definitely would do it again. Thank you, Matt, June, and the kids for all your hard sure. work. You guys did so awesome, and I really appreciate everything, and I can't wait to do it again. And to all the people we met on the yeah, road. everyone, thank you so much for helping us. For helping us, or just the camaraderie, or saying hey, or yeah. waving as everybody passes, or the thumbs up, or whatever. It's just such a cool thing to be really a part cool. of, to see. Um, what a what an amazing week, really. So can't wait to do it again. And we'll can't see wait everybody. to see you guys next year. Yeah, <laughs> see everybody next year at the next event or whatever. We've met some people from all over the country. So hope to see you guys soon. And I think that's it for this this year. Yeah. All right, fun. guys. If you would please hit that like, subscribe, and share button. And we'll see you in the next video.